Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm here today to film my closet tour. I know that I am a bit casual today. I am at home, but I've got loads of errands to run, so I don't have time to like set up and do like my whole setup filming situation. So I know the sound quality in this video is gonna be a bit pants, but I live on a road, it's real life, and I'm filming way past after 12, which is normally like the quiet time, as it's either film like a noisier video or have no video at all. So I do really apologize and thank you guys so much for bearing with me. But I'm here today to film a closet tour. I've been meaning to film this video for so long, but I just never got around to it because mainly of the setup situation, because even if I get my microphone out now, you'll still be able to hear the noise because I'm moving around and the microphone isn't like, you know, to me all the whole time. So yeah, I don't know, it's been putting me off, but I hope lots of you guys are not gonna mind. And we're also gonna address the elephant in the room because if you watched my last video, you'll have seen that I had a slight um, balayage or ombre or like blonder moment and you're going to probably see that um, no we haven't gone back in time I have dyed my hair back to like a brown color basically I took a whim and I went to a hairdresser that I don't normally go to I thought we were on the same page about what was gonna happen and essentially the tone of the color that I wanted was completely wrong um, he even admitted it so it wasn't like I was you know I'm not here to like shade or do anything like that you guys know like I'm, I'm not like that um, but basically it's only hair, I've gone back to brown, I've lost a whole load of money, I'm not really impressed to be honest, like I'm quite disappointed but this is life, this is nothing I can do about it and uh, yeah it's going to probably fade out a lot and I'm probably going to get some of the tones, um, like some nice lighter tones back hopefully but they just won't be orange so that's at least going to be good. It just wasn't meant to be I think but that's life so yeah I know you guys were really like liking it in the video but you guys didn't see it in you know, like I could sit here and show you guys photos, but I'm not gonna do stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know what you think of my organization skills. Just to give this video some preference, I'm not giving you guys a whole room tour, but I wanted to show you guys. These are my many a cupboard. Yes, I know. But I'm a girl that needs a whole lot of storage and when I do an actual flat tour, you guys will see this room better. But if you've watched some of my vlogs, you'll have seen it and yeah, I just basically needed a really good storage system that will house not just clothes, but other things. So I'm just gonna basically delve into these three double and one single Ikea cupboards. So these are, ta -da! this is my first cupboard. Now, I don't know how much you can see. Okay, you can kind of see. So up here I have my, it's like a big bag thing. I don't know where I got it from. It actually might be from Ikea. And I normally store my winter or my summer duvet. I have this duvet for my bed where you have like a summer thinner sheet and then like a winter thicker sheet that you can actually put them together. And because I'm such a psycho and I'm so cold all the time, I've actually like put mine together. So there's nothing up there currently, but it's just like a huge, I'll show you guys. Yeah, it is from Ikea. That's what I mean when I'm talking about storage in this like video. These covers are not just for clothes. I do store other stuff like on the top that I'm not necessarily gonna show you. Like I have a fan up there for when it was really hot. I have loads of weird stuff in there. So I'm not gonna go too crazy into detail, but essentially this is like my coats, longer items, some summer stuff that I don't really wear, shoes at the bottom, which I'm gonna show you guys, and my blazers and suits that I mainly use for work wardrobe because I have a lot of those. I am the blazer queen, I've, I've like dubbed myself that, I do wear a lot of blazers. And here I start off with my leather jackets. Leather jackets are just something that I wear all the time, so I've got like a more cropped one and then a longer one which is just perfect. To my many a blazer collection, I have my new one that you guys will have seen if you watched my haul video. I have like a blue navy one with a navy jumper that I only ever really wear with that blazer. I actually did get that recently but I didn't show it to you guys. My check ones, I have like a stripe one, my more colourful ones, my velvet ones. I have my coats, this is my camel coat that I've had maybe for like three, four years, like legit three, four years. And then I have like a black version which is exactly the same. My two uh, denim jackets, a long, just like normal denim jacket and then my crop one. And then I have my little faux suede jacket that Nina got as well. Well I chubbied her actually from Zara. My kappa jacket. Another blazer, these are like my less worn blazers, um, but I've got like a grey one, a white one, my red one, and then we come on to like some of my suits and just less worn items. And then I also have some stuff, summer stuff back here and also like sleeveless like waistcoat things that I just, I can't wear right now, it's too cold. If we pan down, hopefully that's enough. You can see that's some of my shoes. This was like a little extra addition that my parents did for me. Should I pan it down some more? 
These are some of my shoes. I stress some because um, they are dotted about the flat in other places, I know. And I basically, these are more of my like less worn heels. I still haven't even worn those pink ones. If any of you guys have watched my hauls, like I love those pink shoes. I just still haven't worn them. But the others I have all worn and I love them all to death. So those are some of my shoes. And that again is still from Ikea. It's like a shoe rack thing. I think you should be able to pull it out, but mine doesn't pull out. So we just gave up on that. So that's number one. Okay, now we move on to cupboard. See, even I get like mixed up. So I was like going to like <laughs> open it and I get mixed up. This is cupboard number two. So that's one and that's two. And you're probably thinking, Barbs, that's a bit bare, isn't it? And yes, it is bare. This was my like miscellaneous, but also makeup and um, pull out drawer cupboard. So this main section here, and the reason I have so many hangers is because this is my new in haul or new in I want to shoot with like kind of section so it makes it easier just because of what I do I don't think everyone would need like another bit like this but because of what I do these are just some of like my new in things if you haven't watched my most recent hauls go and watch it because this was gorgeous and um, this as well you might have seen in that haul and yeah I just basically wanted my new in stuff to be easier to see it's all there like I can just grab and film and it's just way easier and yes, I do need a lot of hangers because if I buy new stuff, um, obviously I need to put them on. But I have been a lot better this year at if I get something new, something old will go away. And then I am a bit of a sunglass aholic. So this is also my sunglasses little cave. But this is more for like their cases. Just because I didn't want to get rid of them. I know it's a bit of like a waste of space. But I don't know if I might do something else here. But for the moment, it just works fine. And I will zoom in and show you guys stuff here. So I did show, like I said, this bag in my haul and I just put it here because it's just easy to grab. But these are just all my sunglasses cases. This is an earrings case from Muji and it just holds like, you can put like smaller studs and I've just got some of my hoops and things on here. Um, I don't really use this as much as I sort of would have hoped. I kind of hoped I'd have it on display, but I'm kind of thinking of getting one of these for sunglasses. I think Gabby from Velvet Ghost has it and it's really cool. Don't even ask me what these are, but they're actually like the coolest invention. They're basically like boob hold up things. So they're like pear shaped to like hold up your boob if you're wearing a dress. And they're actually really good, but they're a bit of a fat to put on, especially if you've got big boobs. But that's where I'm keeping them because I've got another use of those and because you get two in a pack. Then I have my YouTube plaque, which I need to put up there. And yeah, I just need to like, actually, I haven't put up any photos in my flat yet. So I need to put that up. And then when I registered, some of my colleagues got me like a plaque for my registration. So that's got like my um, registration number and all that kind of stuff on it. And um, it was just really cute. Again, I need to find a place to put that. And then you're probably wondering, okay, Barbs, what's in here? These are like my little pride and joys. Da -da. So if I pan you down, these are my um, jewellery drawers and this is where I keep my less worn jewellery. My most worn jewellery I do keep um, on my like vanity area. You'll probably see when my choker collection was like growing at a crazy speed. I did get doubles of things because I used to love this. You guys probably remember. Please tell me down below if you remember. I have such good memories wearing this choker, like it makes me quite sad, but I'm still glad I have it because I do think ultimately I'll probably end up wearing it again. But this is just a double of that choker that I had, but it really tarnished and like I must have thrown it away. So um, that's probably why I have a double of it. I know it's crazy. This is another one of my favourites and I actually have it here. So if you follow me on Depop, I might actually like sell this one because I still have the other one. But I know I'm crazy, don't laugh at me. Um, I even have some badges and stuff that I never have even opened because I wanted to put them on a blazer. I still think that would be a really cool concept like for work just to put some of these on my blazer. Um, and then this was another like one of my favourite ones. Again, I'll probably end up selling this because I don't think I'll wear this one. But I just have a, some of my jewellery here. I have a phone case that I bought for my phone. Um, and then I have some sunglasses here. I probably should put them in their cases but they're just easier to grab if they're like this. And can you guys tell these all have like little grooves? Um, so they're really easy. Again, Ikea is the bomb. Like, look at this. I loved this necklace. It's from Zara. Um, I'm not even showing it to you guys. Why am I not showing it? There we go. I love this. It's gorgeous. So yeah, these are my sort of less worn jewellery. 
and then we come on to the pièce de résistance. I know I did a vanity tour like literally uh, a couple of videos ago and a lot of people thought that was my all my makeup but that's why I titled it my everyday makeup because that's where I keep my everyday makeup and then this is where I keep my extra stuff or stuff that I don't really use as much. I don't think I have like tons and tons compared to like other YouTubers but it's probably a lot more than the average person but you've got to remember that we do get sent, I don't even get sent a lot of stuff compared to other people but I have my old school, if you guys again are like old school subbies, sorry my phone's going off, you probably know that I used to keep my Mac in the single still, so I still have them, I don't ever use my Mac, my Mac eyeshadows that are here but I don't know, it's kind of like I said nostalgic, like sad, um, yeah like I have lots of eyeshadows there, like I used to love this reflex glitter, this is the vanilla. Um, glitter stuff so yeah I just kind of still keep them there they're probably all gone off because I've had them for years but whatever we'll just keep them there then I have all my Kylie lip kits because I used to love them and I still kind of like them I've got lots and lots of nude lipsticks and liquid lipsticks here and then I've got some MAC lippies here some Charlotte Tilbury some NARS some iconic London stuff some Anastasia Beverly Hills Charlotte Tilbury loads of foundation stuff I sometimes do and play around with my foundations, like I've got the Stila one, the Marc Jacobs, I've got some powders, I've got loads and loads of highlighters that I interchange, and then I bought some backup of the Estee Lauder Double Wear in my shade because I really did think they were discontinuing it, so yeah, I've got cotton buds and like, you know, uh, nipple covers, because that's important, can you guys see the nipple covers, that's really important if you film, um, all that kind of stuff there. And then in here, this is another crazy drawer. Do not ask me why I have um, nails and stuff here. It's just from like, it must be my stepdad put them here when he was making this and I don't want to get rid of it in case he needs it. But I've got palettes, loads of lashes because I love lashes, hairbands, which I actually need some new hairbands. So I'm going to delve into that. Um, I was given some more of this. Who's texting me? Um, some more of this, so this just extra. Loads of lashes, loads and loads of lashes. I was obsessed with like bringing in my own gel nail polishes, so I was buying them on eBay um, when I used to get like nail, like gel nails. Um, I'm more into the ombre at the moment, but I didn't get it this time around. But I was like obsessed with just bringing in my own shade. Um, I know, it sounds crazy. So yeah, that's my other little drawer. Not super interesting, like I've got some skincare there as well. Um, but that's fun. And then when you open this one, these are my like trousers drawer. Um, and I, first I was hanging up a lot of my trousers, but I'm kind of now thinking I'm gonna do this because honestly, hanging them up is just such a faff. So I've got some belts here, um, like my Gucci belt and stuff. I've got black trousers, work trousers, work trousers, work trousers, and I literally only now own including the pair of jeans that I'm wearing. I only own three pairs of like blue jeans, whereas I used to literally own like 10. So yeah, I have like my Topshop, um, I think these are just like the frayed jeans, and then I've got like the Drees, and then I've got these Zara ones that I'm currently wearing. And then I've got down here, which I think is actually a tip. Yeah, I need to tidy this up. This is my um, like workout gear drawer. And just because I haven't really been working out, it's an actual mess. I have an eyeshadow back here, which shouldn't even be here. Um, but yeah, this is a absolute mess. So it's like bras and I need to like clean this out. And then at the bottom there, you can probably see I've got my um, summer towel there. It's like a round towel. These are just nail polishes. So this is like my nail polish and like lint collection. I have extra slippers there for in case anyone comes over or like if my other ones are in the wash. And then this is a pot plant that is just uh, not in use at the moment because I haven't found a plant to go in it. Okay, let's see if I can actually find the right one. This is closet number three. Da da. I'm just going to pan up so you can properly see it. This is like my everyday stuff. This is like my hoodies and my shirts for work, t shirts, jumpers for work, and trousers that are more like casual and day-to-day -day as opposed to work trousers. I'm started to keep my work trousers in the um, in that pull-out drawer that I showed you guys and at the top there I'm literally not going to show you guys what's up there because it is a mess. I've got uh, like a toothbrush box, I've got camera box, I've got a memory box that I keep with all my memories and photos of 
Time's passed and then I've got um, just mess, like work stuff up there so I'm not going to show it to you guys. And then underneath here I've got some scarves in a second rail that I had put there because I was actually going to have my um, some more clothes hanging there but it ended up I didn't need the space so I just hang my scarves there. And then at the bottom I've just got boots, these are all like Zara, literally all Zara boots. And I've got some boxes back there that I just use for my Depop when I'm sending stuff out just because it makes it easier for me when I'm shipping to have like some stuff in boxes it just stuffs them a bit better I'll show you guys some of the stuff a bit clearer so from here I've got like all my jumpers that I use for work and um, these are just all long sleeve shirts then I've got short sleeve t-shirts I've got my champion one somewhere the Mondays one um, they're all basically Zara I've got shirts denim shirts work shirts because you guys know that's basically all I do so these are all my work shirts and then I've got hoodies because I do wear a lot of hoodies these are all my trousers, so I've got like my Topshop trousers. If you're wondering about a lot of these things, guys, you just need to watch like, you need to have a Persian Bay binge watch. More trousers, and then I've got some summer stuff at the back there. And this last cupboard, which you guys can probably see is a single, is my handbag storage. And I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but basically this is where I store my handbags. I know it's not actually recommended to keep handbags in there dust bags or bags or boxes but I do air mine out. I just like to keep them in the dust bags just because I don't want my handbags to gather dust basically and I don't have time to dust 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 inside cupboards like I already clean um, loads as it is outside so yeah that's where I keep my handbags and I absolutely love them. I'll try and show you guys a bit more closely. Here I keep like my small leather goods. I just keep my Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack out because it is actually the bag I use most often. Here I've got some other bags that like my Balenciaga uh, Mansa Gabriel and then I've got some like purses and stuff that I got given as a gift and yeah I've got like my Fendi and my bigger bags up there. This is just how I found storing my bags best and I do try and keep them aired out regularly. Underneath here I do have some more like of these squares but it's just basically stuff that I need to sell on Depop. I'll show you guys so a bonus video. This is going to be really yellow because I do have quite yellow lighting in my hallway. I need to change it but I have an airing cupboard and I'm so embarrassed to show it because it's so like messy but um, I'm sure every house has like one of these but this is my airing cupboard. How swanky and we really wanted to try and maximize the space. This isn't like a room tour but I want to show you guys some more organization tips so you can see I've got like my um, what's that even called? Iron and like my ironing boards and my actual boiler and stuff and I keep my vacuum here. What we ended up doing in here is getting a this is actually a bookcase, I think, if I'm not mistaken, from Ikea. And um, my stepdad just basically built me a shoe rack thing. Don't have them like super organized, they could probably be a bit more organized. And then up there I've just got like toilet, um, like um, Andrex and like toilet tissue and stuff. And then I've got some Depop packing stuff there because I do sell on Depop quite a lot. So I've just got like flats and work shoes, mainly my work shoes are here pretty much, like loafers and um, also trainers. So these are more like day-to-day -day shoes that when I'm running out the door I just kind of pick them up. So I've got like loads of Zara, there's a Primark, I've got my Vans, my silver shoes that I'm well known for, I've got loads of trainers. So if you live in like a small space and you kind of like you know, want some ideas, maybe build something like this in your airing cupboard and it's not attached to the wall or anything, like I said, it's just a bookcase, so I don't know, maybe another little good idea. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please do let me know down below what you thought of it and what you thought of the whole organisation system. I know I have a lot of cupboards but it's just basically what I have to do to keep myself organised in a flat that doesn't actually have loads and loads of storage. So I hope you guys are all doing super well, I will see you guys all in my next video, take care of yourselves and yeah. Bye.